there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're in Colonia, Uruguay, and today I'm going to actually go through something I think is kind of important, because I know a lot of people when they go to Buenos Aires, they're thinking about, hey, can I do that day trip over to Colonia? What's the whole process of taking the ferry over there and things like that? So this video is actually our experience taking the Bouquet Bus Ferry from Buenos Aires over here to Colonia. It is a lot easier than it sounds, okay, so you'll be fine, but don't believe the tour books and guidebooks that say, oh, it's a 50 minute ride. Let's be honest, when you actually board at a, like a little bit before your hour's up, you'll take at least an hour and a half before you're actually off the boat in the other city. So it's not a 50 minute ride, okay? It's, 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 a, it's a couple hour adventure to do that, all right? So just to give you a heads up. But anyway, here is our experience taking the ferry from Buenos Aires over here to Colonia. So we're here checking in for our bouquet boost to Colonia. So to give you an idea, you gotta get here a little, you gotta get here, you know, they say get here two hours early, because you can already start booking, you can you check in, you can drop off your bags and stuff like that. So I will warn you, if you're coming here 2018, they're doing a lot of construction around in Puerto Madero, and so it can be a little complicated getting here, so give yourself the extra time with the taxi. Also remember, not all taxis have to take you, so you might want to tell your hotel to have them pick you up, so then they have to take you that way, okay? Okay, so we're getting ready to board. Um, just so you know, when you go, when you come, you check in. There's like a check in, like just like the airport and the gates. You know, you're not. The thing is, there's multiple boats, so make sure you get in the line for the boat that's your time. You go in there, you check in. If you have any bags that are bigger than a carry on, they're going to make you check them, and they give you, you know, your, your baggage claim ticket and stuff like that, just like on a plane. And then you get your tickets and stuff, and you need to keep your tickets and your passport together because then right away you go upstairs and you go through immigrations and you go through Argentina and Uruguay immigrations. It does take some time because they do the fingerprinting and the picture stuff on the Argentina side, so it does take some time. So remember, you can't just like show up last minute to get these. You got to actually make sure you're here in plenty of time, okay? But you get your stamps exiting and entering, you know, exiting Argentina, entering Uruguay. You have that and then you come here and you wait for your for them to let you on and then you go hop on the boat so let's go hop on the boat so you'll be waiting in line for a while if you come too early they don't let you actually board till probably 20 minutes before departure so just know you're gonna have some time so one thing i will tell you even if it's a nice day, it can be a little rocky on here. If it's really high winds and stuff like that, sometimes they get postponed or delayed or canceled, and it can be a little rough and shaky. So regardless, I do highly suggest you go to the bathroom before you come here. There are bathrooms on here, no problem, but just so you know, if you're not like, whoa, all over the place, just a heads up for that one. So I will say something. If you do do the business class, you get like these nicer seats kind of stuff versus the lineup you have in the like normal cabins like you have like an airplane and stuff like that so these are more comfortable you get a little table here and stuff like that but i will say you want to get up here and get one of the ones that are by the window we got on we were late longer longer in the line so we had these middle seats but we do have that um so you do pay up to get business class but i mean you still have to go downstairs they have their own little bar and stuff like that here but it's fine um joss would like me to tell you that make sure you bring your drama me because even before you take off, you already feel like, whoa, whoa. <coughs> and I'm gonna stop doing that now before I make her ill. So uh, just a heads up for that one. And I said fine. So I'm slightly nauseous because I get ever so seasick on certain size boats, larger ones mainly. Um, anyway, so I recommend if you know that you get seasick or if you think that you may get seasick, bring some Dramamine or Bonine. I prefer Bonine because it doesn't make you as sleepy. Um, Dramamine tends to knock me out, but um, either way, it's a good idea to bring something just in case. Um, and a lot of them are that we get as adults are only good for kids 12 and older. So if you have children who get seasick, you may want to look into they have bracelets. They're called C bands, um, and they kind of hit a pulse point here. They also have stickers that go behind your ears. There are several different sort of homeopathic remedies that you can use so look into those things before you get on the ferry because once you're on the ferry it might be too late so you might not be able to tell but we're actually pulling in now it's taken a little over an hour to get here relatively smooth ride a little bumps you got some motion sickness stuff just be careful with that but i think jocelyn covered that there but not too bad um uh, we'll hop off and give you some more tips and then uh Hope this helps you know what you go through if you take the bouquet bus from the, fa the fast bus or fast boat. Take the fast one. It's only like an hour. The other one's like three hours. So just a heads up for that from Buenos Aires to Colonia.
So I hope that helps you out know what it's like to take the ferry when you do go from Buenos Aires to here in Colonia. It's a really easy ride. It's really actually pretty affordable. You can go different routes and stuff like that. I do recommend taking the fast one just to get here because you can see Colonia and it makes a really good day trip from Buenos Aires if you're looking to go someplace to reset your visa for your 90 days or whatever or just to put some more stamps to your passport, see another country. But Colonia is really nice because it's the world... Uh, it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, so you can go and there's the walls and you can go see the lighthouse and eat really well when you are here and have your mate and then the salad and all kinds of good stuff. So I do hope you have a good time when you do come over to Colonia from Buenos Aires. It's really easy to do, it's really fun. I do recommend it, I've done it a few times now and even from 20 years ago, the first time I did this to now, it still is a nice little trip to come over here. So have a great time. If you want to learn more, the don'ts of Buenos Aires, the don'ts of, Ar of Argentina, the don'ts of Uruguay, or some tips on visiting Colonia, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and we'll have a great time here in Uruguay, or Buenos Aires, or wherever. Bye.